What's going on guys, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today in this video I want to show you uh, how I made this cyberpunk looking apartment scene. So as you can see right here um, I just basically constructed some general mesh for the room uh, and then I got a bunch of these assets off of Blender Kit so I just went up to here it was and I typed in you know couch or you know bed something like that and then you get a bunch of assets so if I do that right here let's see I'll type in couch and then we hit this little eye search bar you'll see a bunch of couches pop up here so if you don't have blender kit um, enabled you need to do that so then the footage here we can see it's just some footage of myself that I filmed today in front of a green screen so it's really slow um, right now because of all these different assets in the scene some of them have a lot of polygons but as you can see we have the footage moving there and I'm in 3D, so you can see the feet moving. They're pretty well lined up with the floor for the most part. I might have to do some refining. So if we go right here to look dev mode, you'll see that this is how it looks. Um, and then if we go to rendered mode, it's where it really gets interesting. So if I click on this camera here and look through my camera mode, uh, that's what I see. And we can just scroll in here to see a little bit better. So there's some cool things going on um, in this scene here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off this folder here called EV Lights. And you'll see when I do that, um, it looks pretty cool. And you get a, that cool silhouette look. But I kind of wanted to show a little bit more of the, of the room here. So before we get into these uh, lights over here, I just want to point out that this I am using in uh, images as planes right here at within a mission turned up. So it's just a picture of a cyberpunk city that I made in Photoshop. So I really like this lamp up here in the corner. Um, it just looks really cool. So I actually added a light for that. So if I go into my EV lights folder and uh, I'll just make sure that that lamp lights on. So here's without the lamp light and then with the lamp light. So I'm just kind of faking a little bit of light that this lamp would cast uh, down here on the couch. It's like kind of like glowing kind of bluish looks cool and then um, it just shows these little objects here on the table and you get to see a little more of the room while you're still keeping that silhouette look which I fell in love with so that looks cool but I thought there's something kinda missing like this side of the room feels too dark just too like boring so I put a light up here just above and I think I made that if I click on the ladder light and I scroll down here um, yeah it's an area light so what this light's doing, as you can see, it's adding some light on the ladder, which just kind of makes it, makes it look like magical. Like if you were climbing up this ladder, you'd probably have a really cool rooftop view. So it, it kind of just gives the um, whoever's looking at the picture something to perceive. And then one of my favorite things is if you look, and I'll zoom in here. If you look, you can actually see that this light is now hitting this side of the bed. So we get this really cool, like if I just turn off this light, it looks cool but then when I turn that thing on you get this like ambience like you still get the city coming through uh, underneath these pillows here it just looks really cool brightens up this side of the room but you still get the general um, gist of the vibe so I did also try a render in cycles and this is how it turned out but I really like the way my EV render turned out so if I want to use this in any kind of animation uh, just based on my test renders <laughs> I'm probably going to need to replace all the furniture and a lot of the things in the room with much lower poly. Uh, so I'm going to figure out a way to go about the best way to go about doing that so I can use this little scene in animation because right now it just uh, can't handle rendering it on my laptop. And I think it has to do with uh, some of the high polygon count of some of these models as well as some of the um, advanced textures that are on them. So I guess we could talk about the green screen footage in here real quick. Um, if we go to the shading tab, so let's see what I did with that in this video or in this so it goes to 412 frames it looks like I did oh, I didn't plug in it into it make an emissive hmm. okay a lot of times um, if it's like a darker scene you could take this color and just plug it into the emission which brightens up your character and then you can always just go on the emission strength and dial that down till you get something you want but it looks like in uh, this case for this I didn't really need to because I'm being lit by some of the room lights in here um, but that is just a little trick that comes in handy sometimes you can make your footage pop out 
But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. So that's how I made this uh, little cyberpunk set in Blender. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's uh, head up these stairs here.